Picture this, it's December of last year, you're reflecting on your life, realizing you've wasted so much time being a fat, lazy slob. So you start doing push-ups in your room at 2 a.m. after binge-watching Alex Hormozzi and David Goggins. And you write down a list of everything you want to achieve this coming January. Put on 10 pounds of muscle, lose weight, build that app, run a half marathon. But there's just one problem. You've been setting these goals year after year for your entire life, but how many times have you actually accomplished them? In fact, do you know anyone who actually followed through with their New Year's goals? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, exactly. But somehow, this year is going to be different. This year is gonna be the big game changer. But let's be real, will it actually? I think you know, deep down, you're lying to yourself. In this video, I'm going to share with you three pieces of advice that help me destroy this vicious cycle, finally get done, and become unrecognized in 2024. In my case, put on 30 pounds of muscle, compete in powerlifting, bodybuilding, and a bunch of other stuff to force myself out of my comfort zone. Gentlemen, welcome to the winter arc. Step number one, get a piece of paper and write out all the goals you have for the year and then crumple it up and throw it in the trash because it's completely useless. Think about it this way. If you wanted to retire at the age of 40, you wouldn't just sit there, write it down, and then call it a day. You would need to come up with a detailed plan of how you're gonna do this, how much money you'll save, where you'll invest that money, how you'll lower your expenses in order to achieve this. So why shouldn't you apply this mindset to other areas of your life? In this case, instead of money, time is your currency. And you can't get it back. For example, if I wanted to be conversational in Spanish this year, I wouldn't just write down the goal. I would come up with a system of inputs in order to achieve this. That might look something like this. Apply this mindset to any goal you write down. For example, if you wanted to bench four plates, you wouldn't just go into the gym and load up 405. You'd probably die. Structure your inputs in manageable chunks and work your way up. So now that you have some kind of input system, you're not in the clear yet. This is actually the easiest part. There's a set of silent bad habits most guys have, but they don't realize it, that will completely destroy your productivity. If you're familiar with Greek mythology, the sirens are these half bird, half woman creatures who lure sailors to destruction by singing beautiful songs. Where am I going with this? Well, most young men today deal with silent addictions that weigh them down. Pornography, social media, laziness. If you want a detailed guide on how to overcome these challenges, check out my video here. So this next step might be a bit uncomfortable, but it's necessary. Go on a walk, sit in your room, drink some tea alone in silence for 20 minutes and do an honest reflection on your biggest flaws and potential addictions. One litmus test I'll use to see if I actually have an addiction to something is to try to go a week without it and see how much I struggle with it. I actually got this idea from Jordan Peterson who explains it very eloquently. And sure, during this winter arc, you might not completely overcome your addictions or bad habits, but you're aware of your own tendencies, behavior, and shortcomings, which is the first step. And like Odysseus, you can come up with a plan to combat them. Step number three, and pretty much the trademark sign of the winter arc, you have to get jacked. There's no way around it. But there are a few caveats. Caveat number one, this isn't an excuse to get fat and eat everything in sight. I recommend eating a high protein diet with a slight calorie surplus. Caveat number two, cardio. You have to be doing it. As a competitive natural bodybuilder myself, this is actually the first year during my off season I'm doing cardio and it's helped me stay the leanest I've ever been year round. Plus, you can eat more, it's healthy for your heart, and it improves your mental health. Personally, I'd recommend shooting for 7,500 steps a day and then going from there. This will put you in the semi-active activity level, and after this point, most of the health benefits kind of taper off. Caveat number three, you have to be training hard. Most lifters, including yourself, don't know what it means like to train hard. Next time you're in the gym, look around. People on their machines, talking, laughing, gossiping, not breaking a sweat, and these are the same type of people that look the same every single year. Imagine someone just put a gun to your head and told you to go to failure. And when I say failure, I'm saying when your technique gets sloppy, so you shouldn't be heaving the weight. But once you figure out how many reps at a given weight will take you to failure, for the next few sets, leave two to three reps in the tank. This is the golden zone. At the beginning of this video, I told you I'd give you three simple steps to completely kill this winter arc and become unrecognizable. But there's actually a fourth step. You actually have to do this. You have to go out in the world and move and try this. You have to try. You're going to fail. You're going to sleep in, eat a cheat meal, fall into bad habits. You and I, we're not perfect, we're human. After watching this video, you can't just click off to the next self-improvement video and get motivation. You actually have to try. This entire video is useless and you just wasted five or so minutes of your life if you do not act on it. Boys, if you're new to the channel, this is all about self-improvement, whether it be physically, mentally, spiritually, living a life of virtue in this degenerate world. So. If that interests you, well, you know what to do.